In embedded applications, there are times when events occur that then need to be dealt with immediately. These events are referred to as exceptions. When an exception occurs, the program must be halted so that the CPU can process the exception. And once processed, the program can continue executing. The RX CPU can support seven types of exceptions with different priority levels. Interrupts are one important type of exception in real-time applications, and the amount of time it takes to handle an interrupt directly affects overall system performance. Microcontrollers using the ARM Cortex M3 and M4 processor cores use a traditional push-pop interrupt scheme, wherein it takes 12 cycles to save state to SRAM before entering the interrupt service routine. Whereas with the RX processor core, it is possible to enter an interrupt service routine in only five cycles. Let's see how. RX offers tremendous flexibility in configuring interrupts. When configured as a normal interrupt, it takes seven cycles to save the state of the program counter and the program status word to SRAM. Next, the state of the general registers are saved to SRAM and the interrupt service routine is processed. Then the state is restored and the CPU returns to processing the program. With seven cycles of latency, the RX's normal interrupt is already very fast. However, let's say that you want an even faster interrupt response. RX has a unique feature that can do that. With RX, it is possible to configure an interrupt as a fast interrupt. How is a fast interrupt different than a normal interrupt? Fast interrupts save the state of the program counter and the program status word to registers instead of to SRAM. This saves two cycles, resulting in only five cycles of interrupt latency. Also notice that it takes three fewer cycles to restore state with a fast interrupt as compared to a normal interrupt. The RX's fast interrupt capability is really amazing, but let's say that you wanted to improve the speed of interrupt processing even further. With RX, it's possible to do that. Notice the overhead associated with having to save and restore the state of the general registers. Imagine eliminating that overhead. By dedicating general registers to be used for interrupt use only, it is possible to do exactly that. In fact, by taking full advantage to configure RX as a fast interrupt with dedicated general registers, it is possible to achieve an astonishing eight cycles of total overhead associated with entering and exiting an interrupt service routine. As mentioned before, the RX CPU supports seven types of exceptions. Exceptions can come from multiple sources. For example, a reset can be triggered from an external pin, from the watchdog timer, during power-up, from software, and it's even possible to configure the low voltage detect circuitry on the RX to trigger a reset. The low voltage detect circuitry can also be configured to trigger a non-maskable interrupt. Non-maskable interrupts also come from the watchdog timer, an external pin, or in the case of the main system oscillator failing. Interrupts can be generated from the peripheral modules, software, or from any of 16 external pins. Obviously, the ability of the microcontroller to handle all of these exception events is directly related to overall system performance. And as you can see, the RX has no trouble at all.